Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Notes from the Sewing Room, my name's Becky. Today's video is my midweek crafty catch-up video where I talk about what I've been sewing and crafting so far this week and of course a bit of a catch-up on life in general as a new mom and preparing for Christmas. you've been having a great week whatever you've been up to. Time just seems to be absolutely flying by for me at the minute. I've got lots of things going around in my head about what I want to prepare for Christmas in terms of what I want to sew and what I want to make in terms of craft projects. I've got presents that I've still got that I want to buy and also make or finish off and I'm thinking about my baking as well. I absolutely love baking. It's one of my other interests apart from sewing and crafting and upcycling and that kind of thing. So I've been thinking about what I'm gonna be baking for Christmas. Like even if we only have a few people over, I do tend to go to town on, on what I bake. So obviously there'll be mince pies. So I'm gonna be doing some of those and possibly freezing some. And then, well, I say I'm planning on freezing though. I'll probably be eating them all before then, but you know, hey ho, I can make some more. I may make a cheesecake. I love a cheesecake, so that's always a, a winner with uh, my brother and my dad when they come over as well. My husband really enjoys cheesecake as well. Um, and recently, I tried a really good Mary Berry recipe. I'm a big fan of Mary Berry, and she has got an apple and lemon cake in one of her books. Now, I will put a picture in of which book it is. I think it's the everyday cookbook that I've got. All the cookbooks we've got that belong to Mary Berry, or that are by Mary Berry, should I say, that they all are very well used and you know whether that's you know for main meals or for desserts and the other day I was just flicking through looking for something different to try and came across this apple and lemon cake so it's a really good recipe for using up apples that I've got on my fruit dish that are, you know maybe a little bit past their best and and then in terms of the lemon that's lemon curd that goes into the center of the cake after it's baked and you just mix that in with some double cream so it's you know it's loads of it's very calorific <laughs> but yeah it's so tasty and even my dad says oh I don't like lemon cake he didn't even you know say anything about it having lemon in it because it was just so tasty and even though it's got apple in I don't think it's like really apple -y, if that makes sense so you know if you have an apple crumble or something like that obviously you can taste the apple whereas with this cake I think it's just kind of a hint of apple and it just kind of makes the cake a little bit more moist I will put information below of which book it is and which recipe it is as well and maybe you can find it online if you haven't got the book already but um, if you're preparing for Christmas do let me know what you're up to at the moment do leave me a comment below I, I do love to hear from you whether that's kind of you know like I say planning present wise or you know what you're planning to bake as well I love recipe ideas so if you've got any other recipe ideas of things that you know are particularly festive that you think would be good to try then let me know I'm always a little bit scared to make a Christmas cake so if you have got a Christmas cake recipe that's really quick or you know one that doesn't need you know those ones where the cake needs feeding quite a lot I don't I'm not really a drinker so I, I don't tend to have booze in the house so you know if if I was to do a Christmas cake recipe where it needs to be fed whiskey or rum or something like that I would have to buy that specifically for the cake which seems a little bit of a waste I know sometimes you can put orange juice in there instead or maybe soak the fruit and things in orange juice but anyway if you've got a quick recipe that you think I'd enjoy then do let me know and I'll maybe give that a go so what have I been crafting so far this week well I'm really pleased that I've managed to get finished William's Christmas stocking. So as you'll know, if you've watched some of my other videos, I had a baby eight weeks ago. So baby William is eight weeks old and I really wanted to make him a Christmas stocking as it's his first Christmas. So I have recorded a couple of videos which are all about my top Christmas gift idea videos. So do a check out on my channel if you've not watched those already um, and you are looking for, for gifts that you can perhaps make for other people. I will also link them on the card and put the details below for you as well. But one of the things I came up with was doing a personalized Christmas stocking. So I've decided to make one. So it's very traditional. So I've gone for a red 
fabric in the main. So I had some red cotton sateen fabric in my stash that I've had for oh, ages, maybe even two years. I bought it for myself to make a skirt. I've never got around to it and I thought, do you know what? I wanna make the most of it and I didn't wanna to have to buy any new fabric for this project. So I just thought, why not? I'm gonna use it for this project. And it's something that we're gonna have for years and years and years as well and hopefully William's gonna love it, particularly as he's growing up. So yeah, so it's red cotton sateen on the front and on the back. I didn't use a pattern for this, I literally just drew a boot shape directly onto the fabric. I used chalk to do that. I've made a little piece here to hang that up on the mantelpiece or on uh, somewhere else. I'm not actually sure how I'm going to hang it up on the mantelpiece to be honest. I think I need to wedge that with something at the top or weight it down in some way, um, which will be fine if it's not got anything in it. But if we do put presents into the stocking, I'm going to have to maybe think about where I'm going to put this. But there we go, I can cross that bridge when I come to it. I, I gave quite a lot of thought to what am I gonna put on the top here for the top of the boot. So I decided just to use some ribbon. So I've used ribbon all the way around here and I've stitched it down on this bottom line and also on the top line as well to keep it in place. That runs all the way around the stocking and also on the inside of the boot as well. And then to give the boot a little bit of extra structure, I did use some lightweight interfacing on the inside as well, um, just so that it wasn't too floppy. And to finish it off, I've used some bias binding to create a W for William. I pinned that in place, and then I basically stitched all the way around the W, all the way around the bottom section, and then all of the way around the top section as well. So that seems to have worked quite well. I've not really seen anyone else do that. I just kind of came up with it when I was playing around with, you know, bits and pieces that I'd got in terms of binding, ribbon and that sort of thing. And I just thought, oh, that looks quite nice. I did try and hand stitch a W, but it didn't really work out too well. It just looked a bit scrappy. So I thought that would work better. And I think the red and the green work quite well as well. And then I decided to put on some holly. So I had a look at what supplies I'd got in my kind of box of craft things and I found some felt. So I've had this felt for absolutely ages. I bought it from the kind of children's section in Wilkinson's in the UK. So that's basically a kind of hardware shop, but they do kind of, they've got a children's craft section. So I bought it from there. And yeah, so I've got some green and some red conveniently. So I'm gonna hold this up to the camera, but basically I've, I've stitched them on and I've tried to create a leaf shape. So I've cut those out and then I've actually sewn down the center of the leaves and then across ways as well, just to give it a little bit of texture, which seems to have worked quite nicely. So I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I'll just hold them up so you, I can try and show you. So I'm really pleased with that. And like I say, hopefully it's something that William is absolutely going to love and adore and want to bring out year after year as he's growing up as well. So I recommend trying a project like this if, if you've not made any Christmas stockings before. It was really speedy to do, apart from my kind of faffing around of trying to work out you know, how I'm gonna do the W and what I'm gonna finish it off with. But generally the sewing part of it was really speedy. So it's a really good Christmas gift for, you know, family, friends, loved ones. So yeah, or, or for yourself, obviously. So yeah, try that out if, if you if you are looking for something and you're a bit of a loss of what to give friends. I'd love it if someone made me a Christmas stocking. I think that would be great. So later this week, I am hoping that if I've got any time, I'm gonna get onto William's advent calendar. So I bought a kit from Crafty So and So. So that includes the front of the advent calendar, some wadding for the inside, and also this green for the back section of the advent calendar. Now, because time just seems to be absolutely flying by, I am running out of time to try and get this done before the 1st of December, but I think because William is a baby this year, I'm not gonna be putting anything into the pockets on the advent calendar anyway, but I still would really like to get it finished in time, obviously, so that it's up by the 1st of December and, you know, I can say that it was there and I kind of know that it's done, if you know what I mean. So I am really looking forward to getting on with it as well. I've just not had time to get around to it yet. So um, you may have seen this in my Christmas gift ideas video if, if you've watched that already, but it's a really lovely panel. I think they, Crafty So and So have got these in different designs as well. So if you are looking for something uh, similar, then do have a look on their website. So this one's really sweet. It's got houses on there. It's got snowmen. It's got people 
people skating and the nice thing is that it's got instructions at the bottom and then I think the idea is you kind of cut it off in the centre and then obviously kind of put the two things together. Um, also as a kind of supporting thing, um, Crafty So and So have written a blog on their website just to give you a little bit of extra help of how to put this together because the, the instructions on the bottom of here are quite limited to be honest and I know that I've never made anything like this before so I'm definitely going to be having a look at the blog and you know just getting a little bit of extra help and advice from them of, of you know how, how to put it together so hopefully I'm going to get this finished and I'll be able to show you next week how I've actually got on with it so I am planning also on filming a, a you know what I've made for Christmas type video so if you are interested in that then do let me know and um, you know I do appreciate your you know feedback on these things so yeah that's great so looking forward to that have, have, have you made any advent calendars this year if you have then you know I'd love to find out how you got on with yours and you know if you've got any tips that I should keep in mind when I'm doing mine so yeah so that's those things another thing that I've been spending a little bit of time doing in between you know when I've basically had any time this week so I try and make the most of William's nap time so sometimes it's 20 minutes sometimes it's half an hour sometimes I get a couple of hours it just really depends on you know um that particular day and you know what's going on that week and I guess how he's feeling so um, but what I've been doing this week is I've been working on the brand new Tilly and the Buttons Billy jumper so but I've decided rather than making the jumper or the dress version that comes in the pack I loved the balloon sleeves so I wanted to keep that feature but I've decided to make it into a cardigan instead so I'm doing a Billy hack basically so I am filming a collaboration video with Sally from The Secret Life for the seamstress so I'm hoping to get that up on my channel soon I'm not quite sure when yet maybe next week I'm not I'm not sure so I don't want to say exactly when but it's going quite well so far I've had a bit of a nightmare with my overlocker though because I, I said in my video that I'm making that you've not seen yet um, <laughs> that I uh, wanted to try and make as much of this as I could on my overlocker because that's what I tend to do with jersey projects it makes them nice and speedy to make and also it gives a lovely finish on the inside of the garment as well but I made a little bit of it on the overlocker that I've done so far, but now it's decided that it's going to chew up fabric and also um, I seem to be snapping needles left, right and centre. So I'm not really sure why that's happening. I think it's something to do with the tension, but thinking about it, I've not actually had it serviced for absolutely ages. I think I've probably had my machine for probably four or five years and it's probably only been serviced once, which is not very good. So I have contacted the place that I take it for servicing and thankfully they're still taking machines at the moment, even though we're in lockdown. So that's really, really good. So I'm go going to drop it off tomorrow, hopefully. And they've told me it should be roughly a week's turnaround. So I'll be able to get it back and then get on with any other projects that I've got on the horizon so but thankfully I think the advent calendar that I'm going to be working on I don't really need to do any overlocking on that you know and any other Christmas projects I can come up with I'm just going to try and do things that don't really need overlocking and um, you know take it from there but hopefully a week's not too long so I should have it back in plenty of time to still get on with a few other bits and bobs that I did really need it for for, for Christmas projects so but let me show you how I'm getting on with this so far so um, yeah, so I've, I've hacked this into a cardigan. So in, in my video that I'm gonna be doing with Sally, I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do this or how I've done this, should I say. Um, where I've got to so far, uh, I've gathered the sleeve at the kind of the bottom cuff area and I've added on the cuff. So I've got that all pinned in place at the moment. So I've just got to sew that up on my sewing machine and um, just finish off the edges um, the best I can on, on my on my sewing machine rather than using the overlocker and then I'm going to be adding on a neckband so obviously because it's a cardigan rather than a jumper the neckband is going to be different to what actually comes in the pattern pack so like I say I will go into that more on my other video so do check that out if you are interested but so far so good it does seem to be working out quite nicely I've finally used this animal print fabric that I had in my stash and I've shown this a few times on my channel and I've talked about you know what I'm hoping to make with it. I did consider making a Bertha cardigan outfit but as I've already made a red Bertha cardigan and I've now actually um, cut out a sparkly version as well in some cream um, true knit fabric that I bought from Crafty So and So I have um, just decided that 
you know, maybe, you know, two Bertha cardigans for now is enough. And I am hoping to try the Harper cardigan by Sinclair Patterns. So thank you to everyone who commented on one of my previous videos and said that I, you know, you think that I would like that pattern. So I have downloaded it. I've just got to get that printed off. So I am planning on trying that one soon as well, because I do definitely need more snuggly cardigans in my wardrobe for going out walking with the pram with William and, and that kind of thing. So, um, and they're just great layering pieces to put under my coat and on top of you know any dresses and stuff that i'm wearing so yeah but um so far i'm loving the look of this cardigan the the sleeves have worked out really well this is a fairly sort of medium light to medium weight ponty that fabric that i'm using as you can see it's got a bit of a drape to it um but it's also got a little bit of structure as well so it's worked out well for doing the balloon sleeve around the top i think if you are making the billy whether that's a, you know a, a dress or a jumper or you're going to try and make the cardigan like I am I think you probably don't want to use anything that's massively thick particularly if you were doing the balloon sleeve because I think you'd find it really difficult to do that gathering and also if you are going to use your overlocker um, then it might struggle to, to get through there or you know if you are doing it on your sewing machine even then just make sure you've got the right needles in there and um you know you've got you've got everything set up in the best way that you can to try and get you know that bulky fabric through the machine but um yeah i'm looking forward to getting this finished so i'm hoping that maybe i'll have some time over the next couple of days to try and get this done and then i can finish recording my video um that i'm doing with sally and um yeah so i'm looking forward to bringing that one to you at some point soon so yeah have you made the billy cardigan yet or oh, the cardigan or the jumper or the dress let me know if you have and you know what fabric you've used and you know how you found it so far i have seen quite a lot popping up on instagram that you know are just lovely to see and one of my favorite ones that i've seen so far was by tamlin of sewn on the time she made a, a gorgeous green version of the jumper so absolutely loved that so that was definitely inspirational for me or should i say my inspiration for wanting to really have a go at this and um try and make the balloon sleeve version anyway so i'm definitely going to have a go at making the jumper version at some point as well but um for some reason i just kind of saw the balloon sleeves and i thought oh maybe a cardigan would fit in better to my wardrobe at the moment so that's what i've decided to do so one thing that i love to do in these videos apart from talk about sewing is to talk about um, my life as a new mom and um you know other things that i'm enjoying apart from sewing so uh, william is doing really well so he was just away the other day and he's now weighing in at ten and a half pounds so yeah he's, he's growing really nicely and um, yeah he absolutely loves his milk so i'm really pleased that he's he's you know he's feeding well and he's um you know he, he's growing nicely as well so that's all good news we're still going out for walks every day and i'm trying to try different places to go so that's good and i'm looking forward to lockdown being finished so that we can perhaps go a little bit further afield and you know we can go out for coffee's a little bit easier and that sort of thing but yeah he's a really happy baby and i'm a happy mom and um yeah so i'm lo loving life as a new mom so um that's really good and hopefully um i mentioned on one of these midweek crafty catch-up videos a little while ago that I had books and swimming lessons so they have been postponed for now so I'm hoping that when lockdown is lifted that we'll be able to go swimming whether that's before Christmas or after Christmas but I do think that swimming is a really good life skill so I, I learned to swim from a young age so I'm hoping that William is going to enjoy going in the water and when we eventually go on holiday somewhere you know he'll be able to you know go in the swimming pool with me as well and he'll enjoy that so yeah so that's good so what else have I been enjoying at the moment well let's talk about tv i'm a celebrity is on i am loving i'm a celebrity i love this year how everyone seems to be getting on really well because i think sometimes the the cast that they have in there you know it's a bit of tension and they fall out a little bit but i feel like all the personalities this year are just kind of like mingling really well together and everyone just seems to really be enjoying each other's company which is just lovely to see my favorites so far are giovanna i absolutely love her and um, AJ is, you know, one of my favourites as well. I love him from his days on Strictly Come Dancing, so that's really good. And I'm enjoying seeing Vernon Kay as well, because I've only really ever seen him doing, like, presenting jobs on TV, and I guess most of the time he would have a script for those jobs. So it's nice to kind of 
get to know him a little bit more through the show and um, yeah so I've been enjoying all the challenges and things that they've been doing I don't think that I'd ever want to take part in those challenges myself but it's great to see them on TV and it's just a bit of a light relief really for you know this year and everything that everyone's going through at the moment so yeah if you've not checked out I'm a Celebrity yet then do check that out now I am filming this video on a Tuesday even though this video will be live on my channel on a Wednesday so tonight is the final of the Great British Bake Off so there's three people people in the final and I am rooting for Peter to win although all three people in the final are amazing and they've all done great jobs and I really wish that I could bake like that but you know hey ho <laughs> um, but uh, I, I tend to find that when I bake it tastes nice but it doesn't necessarily look great but you know if I'm eating it it doesn't really matter I suppose but anyway the three people in the final look you know amazing all, all the things that they've done are, you know just absolutely super and I really hope that you know that the show brings good things for all of those people that are on the show so if you haven't checked out the great british bake off yet it has been on tv for quite a few weeks now but i'm sure you can find it on series link and watch it back if you wanted to so the other thing that i've been really enjoying this week when i've been walking out with the pram is listening to bbc sounds so bbc sounds is an app and um, it's quite new to me it's not a new app but you know i'm a little bit behind the times i guess and you know you just bring it up on your phone and you know you can just listen to it well however you want whenever you want I guess but I have been um, just really enjoying it I, I downloaded the Bob Harris country music show so I've been listening to that as I've been going around and yesterday I was bobbing along as I was going along with the pram singing along a little bit to a few tunes and um, I like singing to William as well even though I'm not a great singer I think it's just nice and he he's just starting to smile which is really cute so I you know I think doing a bit of singing and silly dancing it you know helps him um smile as well so that's so that's really cute but um i was listening yesterday to sing along anthems show which was presented by rylan clark neil so if you are unfamiliar with rylan he started off life on the x factor in the uk oh quite a few years ago but he's gone on to like really good things he presents lots of different tv shows and he's on the radio on a saturday on bbc radio 2 so i love his radio show so when i saw that he got this sing along anthems um, you know podcast I just thought great I've got to listen to that and it didn't disappoint and I just really enjoyed it I think it was probably about an hour long something like that but when I'm going out walking with the pram I do tend to be out for a couple of hours so that was quite nice it was it was quite a nice balance really because I had sort of an hour of, of listening to to that and kind of bobbing along with the pram and then I had an hour of kind of you know peacefulness and kind of just listening to uh, the sounds of nature if that makes sense and just kind of chatting to William as I go around with the pram so if you are unfamiliar with BBC Sounds or you've just not really bothered to have a look at what's on there then I do recommend checking it out it is free it's a free app and all the things on there are free to download as well which is you know great news so but that's it for today's video that's all I wanted to tell you about and uh, to share so far so do let me know what you're working on this week and if you've got any plans for Christmas in terms of your craft projects and what you're baking and you know just any ideas of, of things that you've got going on at the moment I, I do love to hear from you in the comments below now if you have enjoyed watching this video as well please do hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel already and if you are a new person hello and thank you for tuning in again um i have just reached 3000 subscribers on my channel and you know i just i can't believe it really i've had my channel for a little while i love making my videos so um you know it means a lot to me that you're enjoying watching them as well so i do do thank you for that i'm gonna leave it there for today and say thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon bye